Is there a list? Am I jumping ahead? Yeah, there is. Uh, Maggie Burns Rogers, R-O-G-E-R-S. Um, I'm a lifelong resident of Pawtucket. I'm a longtime member of the George Wiley Center, and I am a National Grid customer of both electric and gas. Um, as a Pawtucket resident, I would like to welcome you. As a Wiley Center member, I would like to thank you for listening. As a National Grid customer, I would like to strongly um, urge you to reject this rate increase. To say that National Grid has not had a rate increase in five years to me is a matter of semantics. Um, I can tell you that um, Daisy pointed out that they don't spend their money on um, interpreters or customer service. Um, and we know what they do spend their money on is um, shareholder profits, um, corporate um, salaries, and also I can attest that they spend money on shutoff notices, which ordinarily I would never um, try to dissuade anyone from putting a postage stamp and sending something in the US mail because that's how I manage to keep my utilities on. Although I do currently have shutoff notices for both my gas and my electric, and if the mayor were here or his representative, I would also apologize for the taxes that I'm behind on. Um, and, and that is, and I am not low income, I am not LIHEAP eligible, but uh, I can't pass through when other rates go up my income is what it is, and I have to juggle things, and I am not at the low end. And I, but my, so many of my fellow members of the Wiley Center are, and we have been at different times, all of us in our lives, in that precarious situation where we are one paycheck, one injury, one illness, one tragedy, away from being like Shane and his mom and so many of our other members. So um, I, I would, again, uh, the semantics of a rate increase uh, is such that National Grid's profits have increased. I suspect that their um, salaries to their top earners have increased over those five years. Um, so I think, and, and I know a lot of their um, you know, costs have been passed through, through other rates, through the PUC, through the, um, through the state, so that they have not had a rate increase, again, is a matter of semantics. And we, uh, I, I am also very sorry that the gentleman from the learning community, if that's the right name of his school, um, had, to, had to duck out because I would love to have a conversation with him about so many things, beginning with the fact that he, um, I, I would challenge him um, to tell me, because he actually, he spoke to you about how many of his students qualified um, for free and reduced breakfast and lunch. I would tell him that, um, in case he wasn't aware historically, that the George Wiley Center did so much work under Henry Shelton, Camille, and so many of our members over the years to make sure that students in the state of Rhode Island all got breakfast in their schools. Uh, and we had to come and speak to a lot of um, public servants. <laughs> Um, and elected officials who did not think that that was a necessary component of public education or of any education, uh, I would say otherwise. We have also managed to get protections for low-income people and for uh, winter moratorium on utility terminations. It's not enough. Thank you, Camille, because we continue to work. Um, but I would also challenge the gentleman from the learning community not only to um, do uh, a little research on how many of his students uh, get breakfast or lunch through federal reimbursements, but also how many of them have managed to not have the utility shut off during the winter moratorium. Um, and if you've ever, and I have also taught school in Pawtucket. Five years I spent uh, substitute teaching in Pawtucket, and I can tell you, and as a parent and a student in Pawtucket over many years too, um, when students come to school hungry or in clothes that are dirty because they could not wash them um, or they could not take a shower, a warm shower, um, could not heat up oatmeal in the microwave. There's so many things that a lack of utilities, and ask anyone who's suffered through a storm in even the affluent neighborhoods, suddenly it's the great leveler when you don't have utility service and your children are 
crying because they're cold or they're hungry or they, they're embarrassed because of how they smell or their clothes smell. Um, that is an impediment to learning. And the other thing I would challenge the gentleman from the learning community is if STEM, as I understand it, the M in STEM stands for mathematics. So the percentage of income payment plan, I would challenge him to ask his students to do the math. Um, whether it is a, 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 a TANF or a assistance to families, uh, whatever we're calling it these days, SNAP benefits, um, add up uh, the minimum wage, um, 40 hours a week, and some people are working overtime trying to make ends meet if they can get it, um, missing time with their families, but just to try to make those numbers meet. Uh, I would say have the children do that math and then to compare the percentage of what they pay for the utilities now and then take, say, the top corporate earner, even in the state of Rhode Island for National Grid, and take their yearly salary and do the same percentage of what they pay for their utilities. Um, I think that would be a fabulous mathematical um, pro pro program for them to look into. Um, ratios, you know, the ratio between, you know, a minimum wage earner in the state and the top corporate earner at National Grid. I think ratios, percentages, there would be so many wonderful math programs that they could um, put into place there at the learning community. And I think, you know, he, I don't know, he may start a revolution, he might join one. Uh, but, um, you know, it, uh, my position remains the same, that uh, we have, for a long time, we have uh, strongly advocated for a percentage of income payment plan or a return to one. Rhode Island was the first state to have one. We'd like to have it again. There are states where it works and we know it will work here. And we, that is when if there are a few pennies a month that has to go into what we consider a kind of insurance policy because as I said, we have all been there or could be there or might be there. Any single one of us um, and I would strongly urge that kind of an increase in my monthly bill to assist the needy, but not the greedy. Thank you very much. <laughs>